Welcome back. The 13-year reign of Ian Andrews as administrative director of the Institute of Sports in Sports was ended today with the former journalist being fired by the 39-year-old government-run institution. Keon Brainer reports. This is a special primetime sports investigative report. Now here's your reporter. Confirmation of Ian Andrews' sacking from in sports came Wednesday afternoon from attorney for the government-run sports agency, Wentworth Charles. Charles, in responding to a written correspondence from TVJ Sports, responded, quote, I can confirm the dismissal separation from in sport by Mr. Andrews with all entitlements, end quote. The dismissal letter, which was signed by Deputy Chairman Newton Amos, was served on Andrews and his representatives Wednesday afternoon. Efforts to contact Andrews up to sports time were unsuccessful as calls and WhatsApp messages to his cell phone went unanswered. TVJ Sports also sought a comment from Sports Minister Olivia Grange via telephone. The firing of the administrative director comes six months after he was suspended on February 6 this year with pay, pending investigations into allegations of misconduct. Meanwhile, General Secretary of the National Workers' Union, NWU, Granvid Valentine, told TVJ Sports he would be taking up the case of Andrews going forward as the former administrative director was not given due process by the InSports board. Over the last two years, Andrews has had several runnings with the successive InSports boards. Earlier this year, Attorney General Marlene Malahufort was consulted on the matter by the Sports Ministry, under whose purview In Sports falls. In the meantime, two other employees of In Sports, Financial Controller Andrew Wright and the Executive Secretary Carita Davis, were also dismissed by the board for abandoning their jobs. Reporting for TVJ Sports, I'm Keon Rayner.